as there are many controversies around GMOs, we prefer not to invest in companies producing GMOs. So joining me at FinDating is Alexandre Joblon from BMP Paribas. So Alexandre, what areas should we expect growth in smart food markets in the next 20 years? It's difficult to have exact figures on the growth of this smart food market, as we call it. Um, but we expect that this market, the smart food market, will expand by 10% a year over not only the four or five years to come, but over the 20, 30 years to come. It's a long-term long -term story. Does the smart food strategy invest in companies that use genetic, um, genetically modified organisms? In fact, we want to apply the strictest principles of precaution when building the smart food universe. And as there are many controversies around GMOs, we prefer not to invest in companies producing GMOs. And it's uh, according to our stance in terms of applying the strictest principles of precaution. So in the context of managing strategy investments, what's your approach to junk food? Junk food is considered as bringing dysfunctioning in human bodies by many, uh, many medical scientists. And we apply the same rules, the same principles of precaution, and will not invest in companies that produce or distribute junk food or sodas for those same reasons. So how are railway companies considered an inclusion? In fact, apparently, railway companies have nothing to do with food. But the food value chain, as a rule, goes from the production of food to the distribution of food, but also it includes companies that convey foods from the point where those, this food is produced to the point where this food is transformed or consumed. And as such, we include companies, such as railway companies, that convey food in the most sustainable way. And in the same context, we'll exclude truck companies that do the same job, conveying food from the point where food is produced to the point where food is consumed or transformed. But in terms of CO2 emission, railway companies are much more efficient than truck companies. That's the reason why railway companies are included in what we call the uh, the, the smart food universe. So thank you, Alexander. It was a pleasure speaking with you today at FinDating. Thank you very much for your welcome. And for other parts from FinDating, don't forget to click back on Dukas Copy TV. Goodbye for now.